Right, there we go. Okay, so what I've done is I've painted the barrel. Nice. Just leaving that to dry. I've painted uh, just one coat. The uh, mechanism parts that I spoke about. There they are. Quite nice, really, that it's, um, the paint's not so thick that you lose the detail. You see the detail still? You want to see that. And uh, I've painted, as I've said, the other side as well. Okay. Just going to um, clean your brush. Mm -hmm. Ready for the next colour. Well, what I'm going to do now <coughs> is I'm going to take off this bit of the mechanism. Okay, lift out this bit here. <coughs> mm -hmm. These main parts here. There we go. There we are. Right. Which I need. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to put together uh, the um, the side uh, hammer and uh, the prison. Okay. This part here. Now, if this is a real weapon, you get some gunge collecting in here. I'm going to replicate that gunge with uh, <coughs> the black paint. Now this is important here, that you don't get too carried away with this, because you don't want to um, paint it black really. It's just a bit of gunge in the corner. So I'm putting the paintbrush in, wiping the side, even wiping it on the tissue paper. Okay, This is what's called uh, dry brushing. And I'm just going to dry brush in that corner in there. Right, just to make it a bit grubby. Okay, see how much is coming out? Alright, do a bit more. Get a feel of what's going on. Right, yeah. And kind of in the little grooves in there. Alright, actually, <clears throat> a bit more of that on this side over here. Mm. Gunge around there as well. Okay. Oh, right. good. Spread it out. Right. Make it look realistic. Just spreading it out with hardly any paint on this brush at all. You can kind of pick out other bits here, so I can pick out around here and darken that a little bit like that. Excellent. Okay. In there. I'm gonna actually get off the tissue now. Okay. Bit of gunge in there, in that little mechanism part. In there. Okay, so it's starting to look like it's getting a bit grubby looking. Now, I'm going to do a little bit on this side as well. Okay, paint in there, on the brush, take it off. So there's hardly any paint on the brush. Trying to get it around there. Okay. Alright, well, I'm happy with that. A little bit on the side there as well. Okay. Now, next thing is the highlight. All right, and I'm thinking about where the light would catch the metal. Okay, clean my brush again. Just like the black, you don't just carefully, you flick it everywhere, you get into trouble. Okay. Little bit. Little bit. Okay. Don't get carried away here. You've got way more paint than you need there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to think about where the light's going to catch us. And it's going to catch it um, on the kind of top edge. So I'm going to just lift a little bit. Okay, tiny bit up there, a little bit round here, a little bit over there. Sish again, a little bit on the 
top of this bar here. When you're a bit more confident, you can you can kind of go back and put it on a little bit thicker, kind of building out there, Just a little more realistic, a little bit down here. The light catches that, not too much. You can smudge it with your finger. Around there, on here. I haven't actually painted any of the edging because the uh, laser car leaves that kind of a dark finish. Um, you'd have to use an awful lot of paint to get that to actually be silver or whatever. So I'm just being, I think it's fine. Personally, I think it's a good look. So I'm going to leave it. A little bit of highlight around here, okay? Actually, I'm going to get a bit of shadow in there because I think that would look good inside the spring mechanism here. Alright? So, clean the brush. On there. Go back to the old black. I'm going to shut the white because I don't want it to fall over and cause absolute havoc. Go back, just tinker around with this. Be creative. Alright? If you don't have a go, you don't know what you can do. Give it a shot. Alright, I'm going to put some around that holding screw there. So I'm just in here. Just a bit darker in there. Makes those other bits stand out a little bit more. Okay. Let's do that on the side there. Okay. All right, now, I'm thinking about the barrel next. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do these bits of the trigger. I think they're fine, just base silver. Down here. Um, no, not that bit. That's a bit. I want to do a bit of highlight along the top. And um, if I think about where that's going to go on the pistol, okay, I've got a bit of shadow along here. All right, so it's about, ooh, you can see how high up it is. It's about uh, just over halfway. So I'm going to come back over here, get the black, and about halfway, do a bit of gunge on there like that. Okay. And then a uh, bit of the old tissue. And uh, just kind of sponge out a little bit. So it's not so obvious. It's just ever so slight effect. That's what I'm after. Turn it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. There we are. Spread that on. Lovely. All right. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm only doing a kind of a band across here. You don't even see this bit. And then I'm thinking inside the barrel, when you look in, that would be dark, wouldn't it? So I put a bit, a bit in there like that, spread out a bit. Okay, then um, again, it's too, the contrast is too sudden. You can see where the black stops, silver stops. I'm just going to just merge that out, or merge it together rather. So it looks a bit more realistic. Okay. Right, close the black. Clean the brush. I've had no idea. I'm going to put a bit of highlight on the top of the barrel. So I think that looks good. What is it with this white? Okay. Well, and okay, so. Just above halfway, this is my bottom. And I'm going to put just a line of white across there. Where the light catches it. Try and do it kind of straightish. Let's see how I do that. Okay, so I've got that going on there. See that? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, a little, maybe a little bit on the edge of the barrel there, just so it catches the light there. On the edge. Okay. And I think. We're done. Now, I want to do the painting first because the next part um, I can come back and do uh, sculpting. Uh, then I'm going to wax it, I'm going to put it all together, have a good look um, at the finished article. Okay, right. 
So I'm going to change the deck here, um, and I'm going to talk to you about how to sculpt this next. All right, see you in a moment. Excellent.